Hey, what a dooski, do you win? And spooky season coming up. So I want to talk to y'all about one of my favorite movies from when I was a kid, but also my problem with it. Let's talk about 13 Ghosts. Now, if you ain't heard of 13 Ghosts before, bro, I ain't even gonna give you the synopsis. Just go watch it. You got Matthew Lillard on his most BS. You got 13 spooky ooky guys. And trust me when I say everybody in the movie brings their little A-game, including Rod Digger. This was not in the job description. I quit! So anyway, my problem is not with the movie itself. I love the movie. I'll, t I'll turn that movie on anytime. I get a nice little jump scare. I got a nice little ah, and I'm good. But I do have a problem with the lore. It's lore! See, fun fact about me is lore is like a crippling addiction for me when I'm engaging with something. Like, I will take my time. I will delve into the books. I will get into the wiki. I will learn everything from the TV Tropes page that I can learn about a property. And then I might not even like the property. I'm just doing it just to do it. And I kind of blame 13 Ghosts for my lore addiction. Because I had the DVD with the extras. And that's where I learned about the Black Zodiac. And it was like, oh shit. That's brazy, right? Now, there has never been a sequel to 13 Ghosts. As far as I'm aware, there's no real groundswell to get there to be a remake of 13 Ghosts. 13 Ghosts itself was a remake, but the Black Zodiac was a product of the remake. It wasn't something they brought from the original. So when I'm looking at this lore, when I'm engaging with this lore, I find myself craving more. <laughs> no. Every ghost has their own little backstory. Some of them super duper dark. Some of them kind of twisted in the Joker sense. Some of them just sad. Some of them really, really edgy. But all in all, they're very compelling. And so what does it mean when there's no purpose to it in the movie? Yeah, in the movie, there's no reference to the lore aspect of any of them. For real, for real. Like Juggernaut gets a little bit of something something but we're talking about like how these ghosts became the specific ghosts they needed to be for the purpose of the movie and there's no mention whatsoever in the movie about it and that just is a really interesting thing to do with your movie so why do i say it's responsible for my lore addiction well i learned the black zodiac back and forth back and forth and while i was really intrigued by it I couldn't really see any application for it outside of the universe of 13 Ghosts. So then it made me wonder, why wasn't there a sequel? Why wasn't there any other media to consume with 13 Ghosts? And eventually I got bored of that and I went on to my next new hobby. And that's how I started getting really deep into lore dives for just random stuff, right? And as I look back on 13 Ghosts... While I do love the movie, I kind of hate the existence of the lore because I know there's nothing more coming from it. And it's not really like cute little Easter eggs for me at that point. It's just a, a niggling hunger uh, of an unfulfilled void, as you will. In fact, you could say that the 13 ghosts, for me, are themselves ghosts, specters forever haunting me because of what could have been the greatest what ifs in all of the media that I watched in the 2000s when I was a kid <laughs> but no seriously do you got any shows movies video games that's got like excellent lore and yet they ain't did nothing with it since comment below let me know what you think do you win and I'm done yapping deuces